Hey guys, it's Casey from Yorkton Aircraft Service. We are so honored to be nominated in the Customer Service Awards. We'd like to wish everyone good luck and everyone to stay safe and stay healthy. Hi, I'm Kelsey Popwich, owner of Growth Media Strategy here in Yorkton. I would like to congratulate all the fellow finalists in the Celebrate Success Business Awards this year. Good luck to everybody. See you out there. Brought to you by Sega, the Painted Hand Casino, the Yorkton Chamber of Commerce Celebrate Success Awards begin now. Presented live from the St. Mary's Ukrainian Catholic Cultural Center. Brought to you by Baker Tilly, BMO, CIBC. Cornerstone Credit Union, Saftel, RBC Financial Group, TD Canada Trust, Apologize for the uh, delays getting started tonight. If Stan was serving supper, we would have to uh, use the microwaves to full capacity. But good evening and welcome to the 14th Celebrate Success Business Awards. My name is Mike Stackhouse. I'm the president of the Yorkton Chamber of Commerce. Very unique, very different times. Takes me back to uh, television days when I used to think I was being clever telling a joke on the air. You might not find out about it for two or three weeks. Uh, you don't have the benefit of an audience in front of you uh, to find out how things are, are going. Unless, of course, uh, years ago I, I, I did make a joke about Elvis Stoiko in the Olympics when he fell down, in which case I went home 10 minutes later, somebody had phoned my house to tell me that they didn't appreciate the joke. Please, no phone calls tonight. Uh, we're going to begin this event by acknowledging the land on which we gather is Treaty 4 territory and the traditional territory of the Cree, Soto, Assiniboine, and Métis. Carol Yahonitsky is the chair of our events committee, and uh, we'd like Carol to come up. Uh, she is uh, located uh, to my right, and she is going to say a few words on uh, behalf of the committee. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Yorkton Chamber Events Committee, I am pleased to welcome you to our 14th Celebrate Success Business Awards. Finally, due to the pandemic, this event has been postponed several times. We appreciate the patience and support of all our sponsors and the finalists. It's important to celebrate business success, and this is a great way to end this year. We wouldn't be here without our members, and we wish all of you much success in 2021. We are all in this together. I'd like to take a few minutes to thank my events committee. Many of them couldn't be here tonight due to the restrictions on the size of gatherings, but we very much appreciate their assistance in planning this event. Joseph Rutinsky, Kimberly Hamilton, Donna Brothwell, Jessica Richards, Connie Brown, Dustin Breers, Sunil Shaha, and our staff, Sherry McDonald and Juanita Pelegi. It takes a great deal of planning to put Celebrate together, and I think the committee has done a great job, given the circumstances. So with that, I congratulate all the finalists and thank the sponsors and our judges. Enjoy the evening. Thank you, Carol. Helping to make an event such as this a success are our many sponsors, and this year I can tell you we appreciate you more than ever. Uh, our patron sponsor for this event is Baker Tilly, and we thank them for sponsoring the Large and Small Business of the Year Awards, and you'll hear from them a little bit later on. We also want to thank the Painted Hand Casino and SEGA for being the production sponsor that ena enables the Chamber to produce our finalist videos. At this time, I would like to ask the General Manager of the Painted Hand Casino, Mr. Charles Ryder, to say a few words.
Hello and welcome to the Celebrate Success Awards. Uh, as mentioned, I'm Charles Ryder. I'm the general manager of the Painted Hand Casino. On behalf of the Painted Hand Casino and the Saskatchewan Indian Gaming Authority, uh, we are pleased to be the production sponsor for the Celebrate Success Awards for the Yorkton Biz Business Community in 2020. We look forward to another successful celebration in this ever-changing environment we have. Good luck to all finalists. Thank you. Hi, I'm Alicia Simino, owner of Pumphouse Athletic Club here in Yorkton. To all the finalists for the Celebrate Success Business Awards, congratulations. Hi, my name is Jessie, the owner of the Scrub Hub Boutique and a director for the Yorkton Chamber. Congratulations to all finalists and award recipients. It is your success in business that inspires young entrepreneurs such as myself. Congratulations. Hello, on behalf of myself, Marty Sven Bjornsson, and the entire staff at Svenco Developments, I'd like to congratulate all the finalists for the Yorkton Chamber of Commerce Celebrate Success Awards. Good luck and congratulations again. Our award sponsors are also key to the success of this event. The Award of Excellence is sponsored by the CIBC, the BMO Bank of Montreal sponsors a Business Growth and Expansion Award. The Business Leader of the Year Award is sponsored by Yorkton Business Improvement District, otherwise known as YBID. The Community Involvement Award is sponsored by Cornerstone Credit Union. Sastel is a sponsor of the Community Merit Award. RBC Royal Bank is a sponsor of the Customer Service Award. The Marketing Award is sponsored by Community Futures Ventures. Key Auto Group sponsors the New Business Venture Award. Mission Zero, WorkSafe Saskatchewan, is the sponsor of the Safety Award. Parkland College sponsors the People's Choice Award. Property Restoration is sponsored by the City of Yorkton and TD Financial Services sponsors the Young Entrepreneur Award. And the Chamber of Commerce Group Insurance Plan provides significant funding to the Yorkton Chamber throughout the year. If you're interested in learning more about the insurance plan used by 30,000 plus businesses across Canada, please contact Sherry or Juanita at the Chamber office. Our beverage, bank, uh, beverage basket sponsors are The Wireless Age, Michelle Bailey and Deb Cook with Century 21, Canadian Western Bank, RBKR Law, My Car Aerial, and Good Spirit Air Service. Also, thank you to our event sponsors, The Rock 98.5 FM, Yorkton This Week, uh, Ref Refined Magazine, Saddles and Steel Production, and Access Communications, which will televise this event on channels 7 and 507 at 3 o'clock on Monday, November 30th and Thursday, December 10th. Our photographer for the evening is Andrew Piasta of Time Catchers Digital Imaging. Um, he got some great pictures of me before the event started, if you want to check it out. Um, before we move into the presentation of the Business Awards, we do have a special presentation to make, and in a normal year, uh, what we would do is we would present our Director of the Year Award at the uh, Chamber AGM, which is usually held in April. However, as the uh, AGM was a conference call, uh, we decided to hold off and, uh, and try and do it at an event where there might be some people present, which we still can't do. However, we are going to, uh, to do it tonight. The recipient of the 2019 Director of the Year Award has tremendous marketing skills and has many great ideas for staff to use to promote the Chamber. She has been a director for five years, and it is my pleasure to announce that Sarah Kowalchuk is the 2019 <laughs> Director of the Year. So Sarah can come up, and if you want to... I know you love to talk, Sarah, so if you want to say a few words, you can go ahead. You want to. There will be no pictures other than, uh, than Andrew. We'll do those at another time. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I love being on the chamber, and I just would love to see it grow even more. Thanks so much. You were out of time anyway. To <laughs> Um, October 5th also marked a special anniversary in the uh, Chamber office. Fifteen years ago, Sherry McDonald joined the Chamber staff team. Sherry is now the Chamber's Director of, of Marketing and Administration. She is also our top cleaner. Uh, the Chamber values Sherry's knowledge of the Chamber and the Yorkton business community as she strives to assist businesses that invest in their business by becoming a Chamber member. And in fact, um, I'd also like to say in, in my dealings and communications with people, oftentimes uh, businesses before they come to Yorkton, 
their first point of contact is the chamber office and the first point of contact is Sherry. So she's very, very valuable, not just to the chamber, but to our city as a whole. And I think it's important that people understand that. So Sherry, at this time, uh, we'd like to uh, give you a gift. I know you like to talk as much as Sarah. So uh, we've got a, a small gift for you as well. Thank you for your kind words, Mike. And thank you for the Yorkton Chamber of Commerce for acknowledging my many years with the chamber. I started back with chamber experience 1992 in Saskatoon and came here. So I've had a lot of experience and met a lot of wonderful people in Yorkton, which is my home. So thank you very, very much. As has been mentioned many times, the finalists and award recipients are selected by an independent judging panel. Uh, this evening would not be possible without the hard work and serious consideration given to each application by our judges. Representing the judging panel tonight is Deb Schmidt, so Deb will come up and she'll bring a few comments from our judges. Wait, I've got to do the microphone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little delayed. I was shocked by the last one. <laughs> okay, there you go. After I just complimented her on her painting skills. I know, I know. Thank you. It's a privilege to join you this, with you this evening to celebrate the success of entrepreneurs and commerce in Yorkton. I'm Deb Schmidt with EXP Realty, and I'm pleased to join you this evening on behalf of the judges. Our panel this year included Candace Tendler, Cindy Munt, Lawrence Wagner, Neil Weber, Phoebe Buckle, and D Doug Kitch. To the nominees, finalists, and award winners, congratulations, you didn't make this an easy task for us. We've received many applications for review and cannot stress enough the importance of a strong, detailed application. So once again, congratulations. We celebrate your success. Thank you. Thank you very much, Deb. Uh, earlier this week, uh, the Chamber's Board of Directors made the difficult decision to allow only the sponsors to attend uh, this evening's event in an effort to uh, minimize traffic, uh, maximize safety, reduce risk, things of that nature, and even I should point out, even as the sponsors attend, even the sponsors are not all here at the same time. It's a very structured uh, setup for certain sponsors to come at certain times uh, to ensure that we have a minimal amount of people inside the building at all times. The Chamber really appreciates the understanding and support that it's received from our finalists. Uh, the staff will be delivering the trophies to the award recipients over the next couple of weeks. We'll take photos with them. Uh, with their trophies, uh, hopefully at their uh, location of business. The photos will then be posted on the Chamber's Facebook page and on the website. And as far as this evening goes, we'll take a photo of the presenter uh, with the trophy once that recipient has been announced. So now it's time to present our awards. The objective of this evening is to celebrate success. And um, it, it's, been a, it's been a trying year, um, but uh, we're, we're, we're succeeding. Every business that has applied in one of the uh, categories has achieved a measure of success. Over 80 applicants were received, representing a number of successful enterprises. So before we move into the presentation of the awards, it's important to note that all finalists are deserving recipients. The first award to be presented tonight is in the marketing category. It's sponsored by Community Futures Ventures. Brenda Erth, the office administrator at Community Futures, will introduce the finalists for the marketing award. The Marketing Award recognizes a business which demonstrates exceptional performance in the execution of a successful marketing strategy. Judging evaluated the success of the marketing program, giving construction, 
consideration nature of the product and relative size of the business. The focus of Growth Media Strategy is on producing exceptionally high quality work combined with creative and customized strategies for the unique situation and goals of local businesses. In addition, a desire to contribute to the local community in a positive way that we can all benefit from. CommunityConnections.ca is a free initiative provided by Growth Media Strategy providing the opportunity for local businesses to sell nationally and reach many more potential clients is another objective of growth media strategy. With a goal to drive more in-store and online traffic, Yorkton Hyundai employs a diverse marketing strategy. Its target market reaches from Fort Coppell to Hudson Bay, so tracking data that enables the tweaking and updating of its marketing strategy is critical. Yorkton Hyundai promotes both the products and services it offers, plus specials provided by the manufacturer. Yorkton Business Improvement District embarked on its Shop Yorkton campaign in late 2018. The primary objective of this promotion was to drive traffic to local businesses. YBID uses a diverse marketing strategy and encourages its members to add the tagline Shop Yorkton to their own marketing platforms. The 2020 Celebrate Success Business Award for Marketing goes to Yorkton Business Improvement District. Because this is a first of its kind program and hopefully a one and only of its kind program, I'm just going to talk directly to the production table. Am I okay to talk? I'm good to talk. Okay, thank you very much, Brenda. Next is the presentation of the Community Merit Award. The Community Merit Award, Community Merit Award has three recipients. Leanne Woodhouse, the Director of Customer Services for Yorkton, Weyburn, and Estevan on behalf of SASTEL, will introduce the six finalists for the Community Merit Award. Just before Leanne goes, is Leanne free to speak? Thumbs up, thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm pleased to be here tonight to bring greetings on behalf of SAS Tal and to present the Community Merit Award. MLA Greg Ottenbright had hoped to join us tonight, but was unable to. He sends his regrets, but sincerely congratulates each and every one of the nominees and recipients of these awards. For many years, SASTEL has been a proud supporter of the Yorkton Chamber of Commerce and the people and businesses it serves. As the province's local communications provider, SASTEL recognizes that community involvement is vital to a company's growth and success through both prosperous and challenging times. This year has certainly presented many challenges that our province's many entrepreneurs and business owners have never seen before. But if there's one thing tonight's nominees have shown us, it's that community is the glue that holds us together. The Community Merit Award is designed to recognize organizations and or events which contribute to the overall quality of life and the economy of the community. Consideration for this award included areas such as number of volunteers, community partners, economic spin-offs, regional, provincial, and national recognition, lasting legacy, and contribution to the community. Now, to introduce the Community Merit Award finalists, I'd like to direct your attention to the finalist video.
Big Brothers Big Sisters of Yorkton and Area has been working in the community for 36 years. In 2019, 229 young people who were facing adversity were helped to reach their potential through the mentoring programs offered by Big Brothers Big Sisters. Big Brothers Big Sisters supports the well-being of all youth, endeavouring to deliver appropriate and targeted services to our young people. Big Brothers Big Sisters, in its commitment to truth and reconciliation, is the host agent for Reconciliation Yorkton. Coldest night of the year is a national walk to bring awareness to and help end homelessness. The 2020 walk was held for the fifth time in Yorkton and is organized entirely by volunteers. The funds raised during coldest night of the year are used by Yorkton Transitional Homes for Youth to provide outreach services to young adults and the elderly. Parkland Search and Rescue is comprised entirely of volunteers who serve Eastern Saskatchewan. Established in 2015, their mission is to search for missing persons when called upon by the RCMP or other authorities. Funding is entirely through donations and the volunteers for Parkland Search and Rescue must source their own training equipment and rescue gear. The Yorkton Curling Club has been a vibrant part of the community since 1917. It provides an active social and fitness environment to promote wellness for all who participate, regardless of skill level, age, or socioeconomic status. Yorkton Curling Club has hosted numerous provincial and national events, including most recently the Meridian Canadian Open Grand Slam of Curling. Such events inject thousands of dollars into the Yorkton economy. The mission of the Yorkton Legion General Alexander Ross Branch No. 77 is to serve veterans and their dependents, promote remembrance and act in the service of Canada and its communities. In 2019, the Legion contributed $20,000 to the community to support seniors, health care and youth. The majority of the funds for these donations comes from the Poppy and Wreath campaigns prior to Remembrance Day. The Yorkton Legion was first established in 1926. Operating in Yorkton for the past 12 years, Yorkton Transitional Homes aims to provide safety, stability, life skills training and support for at-risk youth aged 16 to 18 years and to guide them towards independence. It has two youth transitional peer homes and a 10-room rooming house. An outreach program provides food, clothing, transportation and individual support for up to 125 at-risk youth per month. This year's recipients of the Community Merit Awards are Big Brothers Big Sisters Yorkton, Parkland Search and Rescue, and the Royal Canadian Legion Number 77. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipients of the Community Merit Award. Thank you, Leanne. Safety in the workplace is of paramount importance. No one from WorkSafe Saskatchewan was able to join us tonight. So we do have a video from Gord Dobrolowski, the chair of the SASC Workers' Compensation Board, to introduce the finalists for the Safety Award. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm honoured to be able to participate again this year in the Celebrate Business Awards. My name is Gord Dobrolowski. As chair of the Saskatchewan Workers' Compensation Board, I'm indeed happy to be representing our organization as your safety partner, as well as representing WorkSafe Saskatchewan, which is the partnership between the WCB and the Ministry of Labor Relations and Workplace Safety. This is an exceptional year for Celebrate Business Awards and the COVID-19 pandemic has certainly created some unique challenges. However, I am glad to see this important awards event going ahead virtually to recognize achievements in this unusual year. I commend the Yorkton Chamber of Commerce for doing an outstanding job in making sure this annual event continues. Hopefully, we'll be together in person again next year. Again, thank you for allowing me to participate and indeed, congratulations to all of the recipients. As you know, the pandemic has impacted every corner of our province and the world and has forced all of us to get creative in our respective businesses. 
For example, COVID-19 has certainly impacted how we serve our customers at the WCB and throughout WorkSafe Saskatchewan partnership. So far this year, we have seen 176 compensation claims submitted to WCB directly related to COVID-19. Those numbers will undoubtedly climb by the end of the year. It probably won't surprise you to know that the number of mental health claims is also on the rise across Saskatchewan. So far this year, the WCB has accepted 173 mental health claims from workers in our province. No doubt much of this is related to stress associated with COVID-19, including business closures and job losses. Workers and employers across the country are experiencing additional pressures, both at home and on the job, as our world continues to change and adjust to this pandemic. To help address the increase in mental health claims in recent years, WorkSafe Saskatchewan formed a partnership with Dr. Jody Samra, one of Canada's foremost psychological health and wellness experts. We are very excited to partner with Dr. Samra on a long-term psychological health and safety strategy. That strategy includes a resource centre on the WorkSafe website, which will launch later this month. The centre will include all sorts of materials to help you create or enhance your own mental health programs in your workplaces. These resources will help you protect the mental health and safety of your workers. You might be interested to know that despite the many challenges that 2020 has presented to us, we are making real progress in meeting the WC's vision of eliminating injuries and restoring abilities. Our 2020 data won't be available until the end of this year. However, we do know that 2020 workplace injury rates have seen a decline this year. Last year, for the fourth year in a row, 88% of employers in Saskatchewan recorded zero injuries and zero fatalities in their workplace. This is a huge success and a testament to the safety efforts being done in our province. We've come a long way in a relatively short time. Back in 2008, Saskatchewan had the second highest workplace injury rate in Canada. From that point on, all of us, business leaders, government, labour, workers and safety associations started to work even harder to bring that number down in the province. Now thanks to the health and safety efforts of people like you, our workplace injury rates have dropped from the second highest to the fourth among Canadian provinces. This is a significant shift. In fact, from 2008 to 2019, our workplace total injury rate by dropped by almost 52% to 4.95%. Congratulations to each of you for your efforts in bringing this rate down. So what does that mean in real terms? Well, it means that last year, even fewer businesses and communities were affected because someone was hurt at work. And we think another new initiative has the potential to drive those rates down even further. In December of last year, WorkSafe Saskatchewan launched the Fatalities and Serious Injuries Strategy. This strategy works to address the high-risk industries, occupations, and the tasks within those industries that are resulting in fatalities and serious injuries. By working together on initiatives like the strategy, we can continue to bring our injury rates down and keep all workers safe on the job. To illustrate the commitment we hope all business owners share, the familiar phrase, on time and on budget, should be expanded to say, on time, on budget, with no injuries. We believe that by adding those three words, we're now covering every measure of success, including the health and safety of the people working on those projects. So before I wrap up, I'd like to once again congratulate all of the recipients of this year's awards. You've done an outstanding job this year in, ex in adapting to circumstances none of us have encountered in our lifetimes. To survive, and in many cases thrive, under those unusual circumstances is truly impressive. So again, congratulations, and thank you for inviting me to speak to you this evening. Have a great night. Feder Roach Construction is a third generation family business that has been operating for over a hundred years. Safety at Feder Roach Construction is its first priority and all employees, including management, are responsible and accountable for its safety and health initiatives. The safety management program includes continual and extensive safety training in diverse courses. 
Federoage Construction is course certified by the Heavy Construction Association of Saskatchewan. The goal of Pattison Agriculture is to ensure their staff and customers are operating with the highest safety mindset and to minimize farm site and workplace incidents while educating their staff, customers and community on mental and physical safety risks and hazards. Pattison Agriculture continues to develop its safety management program with the goal of achieving core certification. Employees are encouraged to provide input in order to develop the best and safest solutions. Pattison Agriculture is a signatory of the Mission Zero Charter. Founded in 2008 as a directional boring service provider, AAA Directional Drilling has since greatly expanded the services it offers. AAA believes every worker has the right to work in a safe and healthy environment and that both management and workers are held accountable for creating this environment. AAA's safety management program includes ensuring all new employees are trained in safe, efficient work methods and every employee is encouraged to review policies, practices and procedures in the Health and Safety Manual. Value Tire Yorkton is a family-owned business that began operating in Yorkton in 1985. Value Tire Yorkton maintains that its most valuable resource is its workforce and is committed to ensuring its employees arrive home to their family safely every night. Its staff is involved in all aspects of the safety program. It ensures adequate training is provided to all staff, management, and OHS committee members. Value Tire Yorkton achieved its core certification in 2015. As the Yorkton Chamber is a signatory to the Saskatchewan Health and Safety Leadership Charter, Executive Director Juanita Pelagi will announce the recipient of the Safety Award. Good evening, everyone. I'm very happy on behalf of the uh, sponsors to announce that the recipient of the Safety Award is Federowich Construction. The property restoration category is sponsored by the City of Yorkton, our new mayor. I have to check the notes. I've said Bob Maloney for years and years and years. I just wanted to make sure I didn't mispronounce the name. Mayor Mitch Hipsley will come forward to introduce the finalists in the property restoration category. We have sent a letter uh, congratulating Mitch and the uh, City Council uh, on winning the election here a couple weeks ago, but uh, I want to just say publicly now congratulations to, uh, to Mayor Hipsley. Mike. Good evening, everyone. The Property Restoration Award is awarded to a business that has demonstrated exceptional performance in restoring or revitalizing an older or existing building or property. The restoration must have occurred between the dates January the 1st, 2015 and December 31st, 2019. The City of Yorkton is a very, very proud supporter of the Celebrate Success platform. We recognize that because of business entities like yours, it not only encourages positive growth, it also beautifies our city. Business is the very backbone of any community. Tonight, we have four finalists. I want to congratulate all of you. Let's take a look. Back 40 Brewery is a locally owned and operated microbrewery producing small batches of specialty crafted beer. Prior to its revitalization, Back 40 Brewery was 6,000 square feet of empty warehouse. Since then, sewer, water, heat and upgrades to the electrical system were installed. This has allowed for the installation of the smart brew system, cooler for keg storage, a draft beer tap system and an advanced pressurized filling station for off sale. The tap room at Back 40 Brewery was designed with recycled material found in the Back 40s around Yorkton. Broadway Professional Building was purchased by its current ownership group in 2015. The goal of Broadway Professional Building was to create a professional looking facility for professional businesses in which to operate at economic rates. 
The revitalization included a new ramp and wheelchair accessibility, a new exterior, renovations to the vestibule, corridors and common areas, new ductwork, furnaces and air conditioning, and new signage. Farrell Investments is a property developer and landlord. Its building at 131 Palliser Way was a former tire shop that had been vacant for two years. Stripping the building back to its steel frame, the pillars were cut and hydraulically jacked up four feet, creating two floors of 4,000 square feet each. The building was engineered to enable the maximum use of energy efficient windows. Farrell Investments paved the lot, planted trees and created a landscape feature on the west side. The building in which Yorkton Dental is located was vacant for several years. Upon purchase, it was stripped down to its drywall and concrete. With patient comfort in mind, the restoration was kept open and spacious. Natural light is utilized at all entryways. The exterior of Yorkton Dental gained a new modern look with painted brick and the installation of glass and aluminum entryways. A dry vacuum was installed to power suction lines, which annually saves over 750,000 liters of water. The recipient of the Property Restoration Award is Yorkton Dental. Congratulations. Congratulations and thank you, Mayor Hipsley. The Community Involvement category is sponsored by Cornerstone Credit Union. Representing Cornerstone Credit Union tonight is Doug Jones, the CEO. Doug is going to come forward and introduce the finalists in the Community Involvement category. Thank you, Mike. Yes, on, it is my pleasure on behalf of Cornerstone Credit Union to be here this evening to uh, present the winner of the Community Involvement Award. Uh, this award recognizes a business that demonstrates outstanding performance in its contribution to recreation, amateur sports, arts and culture, education, charitable or nonprofit groups, and business development promotion of the city through time and or financial support. Judging will take into account the relative size of the business. Of course, we were also asked to spend a couple minutes explaining why our organization would support such an award, and I'm happy to say this award aligns very well with, with Cornerstone Credit Union. First off, uh, as I hope most people know, we are a cooperative, so we're member-owned, and uh, community support aligns very well to the cooperative principles. Also, as a credit union, our community involvement, giving back to the community is one of our corporate values. Now, an organization can put um, uh, cooperative principles and um, values on their website, and it's another thing to live up to them. And that's the one thing, as the CEO of Cornerstone Credit Union, I'm most proud of is the contribution our employees make to our community here in Yorkton, um, particularly during a year like 2020. We have a number of our employees providing leadership to important organizations in this organization, uh, whether that's um, you know president of a board or on a, on a board or just getting involved to help out to many community organizations that are struggling uh, through, through these tough times. So I'm never more proud of the efforts of our employees uh, in our, in our community. And then, of course, there is the financial support. And as a credit union, our board of directors and our executive management team uh, make uh, allocating a certain percentage of our profits each year to the community a critical component of what we do. So, with, yeah, so again, very proud to be supportive of the Community Involvement Award. And I would now like to uh, turn it over to our folks to play the video for the nominees. The team at Core Real Estate meets every month and one item on each agenda is community and how best to support the community. Core Real Estate likes to support many small projects and in the past two years has provided support in the areas of amateur sport, recreation, charitable or not-for-profit groups and business development promotion of the city. 
When the team at Core Real Estate takes part in community activities, it is generally during work time. Core Real Estate aspires to be one with the community. CrossFit Function is a locally owned health and fitness company operating in Yorkton since 2011. CrossFit Function is the sponsor of a number of sporting teams, dance programs, school programs, and a variety of charitable events such as the Charity Road Race and Bernie's Run. Staff and members are both encouraged to find ways for CrossFit Function to be involved in the community. CFF has been committed to giving back to the community since the day it opened. The entire net income of the Painted Hand Casino goes to local First Nations communities, the Community Development Corporation, and the province's General Revenue Fund. Painted Hand Casino has supported such events as the Yorkton Film Festival, Rhythm and Ribs, hockey tournaments, school groups, and New Yorkton Exhibition Summer Fair through sponsorships, volunteers, and in-kind support. Employees are encouraged to volunteer their time for community events. One of the casino's guiding principles is to live together on the land, which means sharing resources. In a business sense, this value directs the Painted Hand Casino to give back to the communities where its employees live and work. The staff at Yorkton Hyundai take pride in their city and community involvement is encouraged. Many of the staff run community events through the dealership and any time off needed by staff for these events is approved and appreciated. Yorkton Hyundai has provided support in the areas of amateur sport, recreation, charitable or not-for-profit groups, and business development and promotion of the city. These include title sponsorship of the Yorkton Terriers and the Harvest Showdown and Craft Show. Yorkton Hyundai is involved in the community because it wants to be, and it wants to see the city thrive and grow. And the winner of the Community Involvement Award is Core Real Estate. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Sponsored by BMO Bank of Montreal is the Business Growth and Expansion category. Logan Parchoniak, Relationship Manager from BMO Bank of Montreal, he'll come forward and announce the finalists in the Business Growth and Expansion category. Good evening, everyone. Uh, the Business Growth and Expansion Award recognizes a business which has expanded between January 1st, 2015 and December 31st, 2019, and has demonstrated exceptional performance in terms of expansion into a new product, service, line of business, or the creation of new markets and or jobs. The Bank of Montreal is honored to sponsor an award like this because it shows the hard work and dedication the business owners in our community put forth every single day. Uh, can you please play the video for the four finalists? CrossFit Function specializes in physical fitness programs for all ages and skill levels, nutrition guidance, and elite athlete strength and conditioning. Since 2011, membership has increased by 312%, and two moves have been made to allow for greater space and new equipment purchases. A remote nutrition program has attracted clients from all over Canada and the United States to CrossFit Function. A summer camp program for kids aged 3 to 18 years has expanded to Junior Academy that runs in six-week sessions. RH Electric is a Yorkton-based electrical company that began in 1983. Since 2015, the number of full-time employees has increased by over 200%. This enables them to keep a two-to-one apprentice journey person ratio. RH Electric has attained its core designation and maintains an A rating with ISN. The service area has expanded with many jobs now throughout Saskatchewan and Manitoba. With the addition of more services, RH Electric has become a one-stop shop which is appealing to its customers. Ten years ago, Richard's Auto Detail began in the family's single car garage. It now operates out of a facility that is 5,000 square feet, which has enabled its sales and productivity to more than triple. The move has allowed the company to expand to the cleaning of campers, RVs, tractors, combines, heavy-duty equipment, boats and all-terrain vehicles. 
Richard's auto detail staff, currently three full-time and two part-time employees, are described as being loyal and proficient and they do exceptional work. AAA directional drilling had six drill rigs and their crews in operation in 2015. That number grew to 11 in 2019. In that time, additional field support crews have been added that do plowing, trenching installations, repairs, product logistics, and project management. By increasing its range of equipment, the company was able to take on multiple larger contracts and retain the ability to complete small jobs. AAA Directional Drilling now works all over Saskatchewan and Manitoba and has sent crews to British Columbia. AAA credits the success and expansion of their business to their very dedicated and hardworking team members. And the Business Growth and Expansion Award recipient is RH Electric. The New Business Venture category is sponsored by Key Auto Group. Joseph Ortinsky, Sales Manager from Key, will come forward and announce the finalists in the New Business Venture category. Good evening. The New Business Venture Award is awarded to a business which has been established since January 1st, 2015 and December 31st, 2019, and has just demonstrated exceptional performance in terms of expansion into a new product, service, line of business, or the creation of new markets and or jobs. Judging will take into account the relative size of the business. The Key Auto Group has always been a sponsor of this award entrepreneurship and certainly brings life into the community and starting a new business is certainly a challenge which is why we're continuing to sponsor this award and very proud to sponsor this award. Can you play the video for, of the finalists? Opening its doors in February 2017, Back 40 Brewery is the only microbrewery in the area producing specialty crafted beer. It distributes cakes throughout the province and has now canned 15,000 cans of four styles of beer. A strong marketing plan and the formation of partnerships with numerous community groups has enabled Back 40 Brewery to attract customers and to build their solid reputation for producing small batches of specialty crafted beer focusing on quality, consistency and taste. In addition, many local businesses stock their product. A visit to Back 40 Brewery is listed on TripAdvisor as one of the top five things to do in Yorkton. Recognizing that the agriculture and mining industries had an immediate need for the services and skills of a number of people who were suddenly looking for work, Creedence Construction was established in May 2019. As their employees had existing relationships with many of the key companies, Creedence Construction has been able to build on those relationships by completing projects safely and on time. With 45 people from Yorkton hired immediately in May, Creedence Construction plans to build its workforce across Western Canada. The Scrub Hub Boutique opened its doors in May 2018. It aims to provide quality, comfortable and fashionable scrubs and accessories to the healthcare professionals in our community. In order to expand its reach, it sets up pop-up shops and medical facilities in other communities. The Scrub Hub Boutique has an aggressive marketing strategy which has enabled them to fill orders from Newfoundland to Vancouver. Yorkton's newest dental clinic, Yorkton Dental, opened its doors in December 2018. They strive to incorporate the latest techniques and technologies to assist their team in providing their patients quality care in the most comfortable manner, including a scanner that reduces the need for goopy impressions, a 3D printer to produce in-house dental models and aligners, a soft tissue diode laser, and massaging chairs for their patients. Yorkton Dental has made a significant investment in the downtown area with the construction of its facility. And the winner of the New, uh, the new Business Venture of the Year Award is...
Greetings Construction. The Young Entrepreneur category is sponsored by TD Financial Services and Amy Evans, the Area Manager of Business Banking for TD Financial Services, will announce the finalists for the Young Entrepreneur Award. Good evening, I am Amy Evans, Area Manager of Business Banking for TD Bank Group, and I'm thrilled to be here tonight to present the Young Entrepreneur Award. This award is presented to a young entrepreneur aged 35 or under on December 31st, 2019, who is the majority shareholder, 51% or greater, and has established or expanded a business prior to December 31st, 2019. The young entrepreneur will have demonstrated signs of success and viability in the venture. TD is very honored to sponsor the Young Entrepreneur Award as it celebrates and reflects the outstanding achievements young business people have to both our community's social and economic prosperity. Having worked with the Business Bank of TD for the past 12 years, I have had the opportunity to work with many young entrepreneurs and there is always one thing in common. They all display tenacity, commitment, enthusiasm, and compassion. Their creativity, good business sense, and willingness to learn help them to create credible and successful ventures and give us every reason to be optimistic about the future of entrepreneurship in the community. Congratulations and good luck to all the finalists. Let's turn our attention to the short video to find out more about each of them. In August 2017, John Malcolm left his job and began Cooler Refrigeration, Yorkton's innovative heating, cooling and plumbing company specialising in refrigeration. Striving to provide excellent service has enabled him to build relationships and loyalty with his customers. A strong marketing campaign has been beneficial, especially when customers began to recommend the business online. Offering a 24-hour on-call service has helped John to grow his business. Drew Hunt and Jordan Schenner opened Modern Mattress in November 2014. An independent store, Modern Mattress has grown from just two employees, its owners, to six full-time and two part-time employees. And it will open a second location in Moose Jaw this summer. A strong marketing strategy has ensured an increase in gross revenue each year. Strong leadership, the ability to build relationships and creativity have enabled these young entrepreneurs to build their business. Jessica Richards opened the Scrub Hub Boutique as a one-stop shop for healthcare professionals. As a healthcare professional herself, she was aware of the many needs others have for uniforms and accessories. Paying close attention to detail and striving to provide impressive customer service are her strengths. A strong marketing plan has also helped her to grow her business. The goal of Dr. Michael Koski and Dr. Megan Lamontang at Yorkton Dental is to provide compassionate and comprehensive dental care to all ages of people in their community. In order to achieve this, they had a vision of the ideal dental clinic, which included the installation of many new technologies. Recognizing the need to invest significantly in both time and finances has enabled their practice to grow very quickly to include 10 full-time staff. Establishing a healthy work-life balance is also important to these young entrepreneurs. And the winner for the Young Entrepreneur Award is... Jessica Richards, The Scrub Hub Boutique. You guys can both go with your um The Customer Service Award is sponsored by RBC Financial Group. Trevor McLaughlin, Parkland Community Manager from RBC Financial Group, will come forward and announce the finalists in the Customer Service Award. I'm going to do some filler because Trevor isn't ready yet. So this was planned. Juanita gave me a pink sheet. She said, you might have to fill. So I'm going to fill. I could... I could tell an Elvis Stoico joke, but I don't think it's going to go over well. Um, earlier this week, uh, the Chamber was informed that it has been re-accredited by the Chamber Accreditation Council of Canada. 
In a letter of congratulations, the Council states that you are a part of a group of elite chambers of commerce in Canada and can verify to the business community locally and nationally that your organization is run in a strategic and professional way and has reached the standard in chamber excellence. And the Yorkton Chamber was first accredited in 2018 and I know um, Juanita worked very hard on that at that time and uh, that's something that, uh, that she takes a great deal of personal pride in and certainly to uh, have that done again this year um, is, is an accomplishment. Uh, the Yorkton Chamber was incorporated back in 1898. I don't know how many members we had in 1898, but we have more uh, today. Um, also, we can mention that the newly announced Business Improvement Incentive Program, uh, the Yorkton Chamber was at the table assisting the city in drafting this new program. YBID is putting some money into the program as well. Um, if it's something that uh, you're interested in, watch the city's website for details um, with regards to improvement incentives. And, uh, you know, that's got, you know, beautification is the right word to use there, but um, certainly with regards to uh, improving the overall aesthetic look of your business, you might uh, qualify for a little bit of assistance there. Uh, do, we, do we have Trevor? Not sure if we have Trevor yet or not. If you are watching this feed and you're not a member, here are some benefits of becoming a member. Uh, there's a number of programs uh, that are offered to chamber members throughout the uh, local chambers. Uh, two of the most popular are the Chamber Group Insurance Plan and First Serve. The Chamber Group Insurance Plan provides health and dental benefits to employees of over 30,000 small businesses across Canada, and First Serve offers preferred rates on electronic payment processing services. Uh, if you need to learn more about these programs, you can contact the Yorkton Chamber office staff. And I might deviate from the orders. Is, Kim, is that Kimberly who just came in? We can't deviate. Trevor is coming. Okay. So it is the Customer Service Award presented by Trevor McLaughlin, the Parkland Community Manager from RBC Financial Group. The Customer Satisfaction Award recognizes a business which is dedicated to customer satisfaction, consistently demonstrating excellence in the delivery of its products, services, and or hospitality. Criteria will examine services offered by the business and training programs offered for staff and management. Judging will take into account relative size of the business. The video, please. Bailey Boys Towing is a family-owned and operated towing service provider that has been in business for 32 years. With the family name on the door of every truck, it is imperative that each customer be treated well. When someone calls Bailey Boys Towing, that person is in a predicament, and that needs to be handled with respect and promptness. Established in 1963, Bailey's Funeral Home and Cremation Care understands the need to turn to someone you know and trust when your loved one dies. Each staff member is educated to provide families with options and services while leaving the final decisions to the family, offering families the opportunity for grief support. And asking for feedback are just two of the ways Bailey's Funeral Home and Cremation Care strive to ensure that their clients are cared for. The Medicine Shop is a locally owned and operated pharmacy providing personalized pharmacy services. The intimate environment enables the pharmacist to develop a one-on-one -on -one relationship with patients, providing additional services to patients and ensuring patients are aware of various pharmaceutical coverage options are additional ways in which the medicine shop extends its customer service. Operating for over 30 years, the motto of Yorkton Aircraft Service is, we're there to keep you in the air. Constantly watching industry trends, they use this knowledge to host or provide training to their customers in order to keep them ahead of the upcoming challenges. 
meeting with the pilot as soon as the plane arrives to discuss servicing requirements and providing the pilot with a comfortable lounge all contribute to overall customer satisfaction with Yorkton Aircraft Services. And the winner is Valley Boys Towing. Thank you very much, Trevor, and congratulations to Bailey Boys. CIBC is the sponsor of the Award of Excellence category. Kimberly Foy is the Community General Manager from CIBC, and she will come forward to introduce finalists in the Award of Excellence category. I am the Community General Manager at the local CIBC Banking Center. I'm excited to be here today on behalf of CIBC to present this year's Award of Excellence. The Award of Excellence recognizes three pioneer and cornerstone businesses which have demonstrated excellence over time and have contributed to the economic well-being of Yorkton and the immediate area. Each business must have been in operation for at least 15 years, but does not need to be currently operating in order to be eligible. For more than 50 years, CIBC has been a proud partner, uh, <laughs> proud neighbor and business partner in Yorkton, and a proud supporter of businesses, its families, and community organizations. We stand for a strong purpose to make your ambitions a reality. Our team is passionate about fueling progress and helping people and businesses grow. We are also committed to fostering healthy communities, which means supporting causes that matter deeply to our clients, employees, and our neighbors. Our connection to community is why I'm so proud to be here this evening in support of Yorkton Chamber of Commerce's 2020 Celebrate Success Business Awards. Can we show the video, please? CTV Yorkton has had a presence in Yorkton for over 60 years, providing news, weather and sports for East Central Saskatchewan and Western Manitoba. Through many owners and name changes, CTV Yorkton has kept the focus on community, with local, daily interviews promoting non-profit organizations and their events in the area. With one transmitter in 1958, today Yorkton Television is carried on cable networks across Saskatchewan, two satellite networks across Canada and online around the world. The Painted Hand Casino opened its doors in December 1996 and currently employs 200 people. The hospitality of the staff make the Painted Hand Casino a favorite Yorkton attraction for both its residents and many visitors. One of the casino's guiding principles is to share. With 100% of the net income being returned to the community and First Nations people through sponsorship and volunteering. Serving the Yorkton area since 1941, Parish and Heimbecker Yorkton is currently a high throughput grain facility with a 100 car rail spot as well as a new fertilizer shed and chemical warehouse. In many instances, Parish and Heimbecker Yorkton is dealing with third and fourth generation farm customers. Continued investment of capital into modern facilities which increase efficiency assists in the profitability of the farmer customers which in turn contributes to the longevity of Parish and Heimbecker. In business in Yorkton for 35 years, Value Tire Yorkton attributes its longevity to a commitment to customer service and superior work quality. A huge inventory of tires, including older styles, unique styles, and hard to find size tires, ensures that the downtime for customers is reduced. Investment in staff training and keeping up to date with the industry trends ensures repeat customers. Value Tire Yorkton supports the community with its sponsorships of many not-for-profit organizations. Yorkton Fireplaces and Patios began as a part-time chimney sweep in 1992. Over the years, the businesses continued to grow and today has 7,000 square feet of showroom. Its customers reside in Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Yorkton Fireplaces and Patios ensures it sells a high quality product and that it provides excellent customer service after the installation. 
Yorkton Tribal Council has eight departments and three not-for-profit incorporated entities that in total employ 65 people. It's committed to ensuring a well-trained staff who are able to meet accreditation requirements, working in partnership with other businesses and sponsoring many It's my honor to present this year's Award of Excellence to Painted Hand Casino, Parish and Heimbecker, and Yorkton Tribunal Council. Uh, still to come, we have presentations of the People's Choice Award, the Business Leader of the Year Award, and the Large and Small Business of the Year Awards. Uh, and we're going to get to those in just a few minutes. In the meantime, on behalf of the Board of the Chamber of Commerce, it's my pleasure to congratulate the recipients of all the awards so far tonight. We wish you well as you continue to do business in Yorkton. The Chamber of Commerce once again thanks this year's uh, patron sponsor, Baker Tilly and our production sponsor, the Painted Hand Casino and Sega. Our fitness program is designed to change your looks, to change your routine, and to change your lifestyle for the better. You might be thinking, but wait, this is CrossFit. CrossFit is for the hardcore fitness junkies, but it's not. Our program is for everyone. Our classes are led by expert coaches who are working hard to not only make you better, but also to make sure you are moving correctly. So how does this work? You come in, share some laughs, make some friends, and you get to work. In practice, CrossFit can be intense and isn't for everyone. And we get that. But the thing is, anybody can do it. Hello everyone, my name is Cynthia and this is my husband Lindsay, and together we are Lynn's Point of View. It is truly exciting to be a part of Yorkton's business community. We would like to extend our warmest congratulations to the finalists and the award winners. You are all deserving of this local recognition. Congratulations. Good evening, fellow chamber members. Trisha Clausen at the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. I love the Celebrate Success Awards night, celebrating all the wonderful businesses we have here in our city. Congratulations to all the finalists. This event has been filmed by Skycron, and you'll be able to see the event on YouTube as well as on channels 7 and 507 on Access Communication at 3 o'clock on Monday, November 30th, and then on Thursday, December the 10th. Also want to say thank you to Saddles and Steel, always very professional in their contributions to our events, including the recording of the audio for the finalist videos, and to Jesse Ellert Studios for the photos used in the finalist videos. Also want to say a huge thank you to Stan and the St. Mary's Ukrainian Cultural Center for a great meal. Wait, must be... Not a meal, not a meal. All the assistance provided to the committee and crew in setting up uh, for the evening. And we hope that uh, in short order, you're, you're providing us with a meal. Um, I'm gonna take something of everything, even the foods I don't like, I'm just gonna eat them. Uh, the Chamber again thanks our event, beverage and ceremony sponsors for their support of the Chamber. And also thank you to Randy Atkinson for lending his voice talents to the videos. And to Andrew Piasta of Time Catchers Digital Images for taking photos. Uh, tonight, um, he's been busy with our sponsors uh, over the course of the evening, and, and he was taking some uh, some pictures before we got started here tonight. The People's Choice Award is sponsored by Parkland College, and this is uh, new uh, to this year's Celebrate. Uh, thank you to all who cast your ballots, and at this time, Brendan Wagner, the coordinator for corporate and internal engagement, will come forward and present the People's Choice Award on behalf of the uh, Parkland College. I should mention that there is no video uh, for this event, uh, but Brendan, if you want to say a few words, you're certainly welcome to do so. And then, of course, Sherry will hand you, hand you the envelope. For sure. Um, well, Parkland College is very happy to uh, sponsor this new award this year. We're excited to find out uh, which business will be receiving it. Um, as Mike kind of hinted at, all of the uh, 2020 finalists were eligible for the People's Choice Award. Uh, selection of the recipient of this award was accomplished through online voting by chamber members and other interested individuals. Voting closed, of course, just before the awards event began. So now Sherry has the envelope and she will pass it on to me. Okay. 
And the winner of the People's Choice Award is CrossFit Function. So congratulations. Thanks. Thank you very much to uh, Brendan and the Parkland College uh, for that presentation. The Business Leader of the Year Award is sponsored by YBID, and this is also new to celebrate. Uh, the judging panel was given a slate of names to consider, and Donna Brothwell, YBID's Executive Director, will come to the podium and present the Business Leader of the Year Award. And again, there is no video for this award, uh, but we do have a photo um, that will go up and you will be able to see as you're, as you're watching this uh, from wherever you may be watching it. So once the recipient's name is mentioned, you'll be able to, uh, to hopefully, from the comfort of wherever you're watching this from, uh, see what that uh, person looks like in the event that you don't already know. Good evening, everybody, and thank you so much for watching and sharing, and thank the Chamber of Commerce, the Yorkton Chamber of Commerce, for putting this together for us. As Mike said, a panel of three former presidents uh, presented a slate of nominees to a judging panel, and, the select, and the, from that, they selected the recipients. So I'm Donna Brothwell, the Executive Director of the Yorkton Business Improvement District, and we support the beautification and promotion of our district by bringing our great projects and support to our members. And I guess there's a, the envelope, please. Thank you. I have a little bit to read. The site, the winner is Evan Ortinsky. Evan Ortinsky is owner and president of Key Auto Group. Evan purchased his, purchased his first dealership, Key Chevrolet Osmobile Cadillac, in 1990. The dealership is now known as Key Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. In the last 15 years, the dealership group has expanded exponentially with the opening of Auto Hire Rent-A-Car, establishing Yorkton Toyota 2006, purchasing an opening of a state-of-the-art key paint and collection Collision Center 2011, purchased and renovation of Swans River Key Chevrolet 2014, purchase of Yorkton Kia 2015, opening of Capit Truck Accessories 2016, and a new auto dealing center in 2016. He's been involved in a numerous in numerous nation, national and regional auto dealer councils, including General Motors, dealers, fixed operations board, Toyota Canada dealer communication team, and regional dealers marketing committee. Additionally, Evan has been nominated to the Canadian Automotive Dealers Association Laureate Ambassadorship, which twice recognized individual dealer contributions to their community. He is proud that Key Chevrolet has won the National General Motors President's Club Award four times, with Swan River's Key Chevrolet winning it in their second year. Yorkton Toyota has won the President's Pride Award three times. Outside of work, Evan has sev served on boards and councils, including the Yorkton, Saskatchewan Chambers of Commerce, Regional Health Foundation Board, Access Communications, Parkland College, Capital Campaign, and the City's Economic Development Committee. Many of Key's employees have been with the company for years. Evan is proud of his staff, who enthusiastically approached innovations and education and are committed to the growth of Key Auto Group. Congratulations, Evan. A uh, very worthy recipient of that. Um, some of us got to hear Evan talk at our business summit that we had, gosh, was it in 2019? Yeah. It seems so long ago. <laughs> but, but Evan was, was one of our, our big speakers at that business summit. Um, and I could have listened to him go all day long. Um, and, and Evan is, is really engaged in things that go on in our city and, and sometimes engaged and interested in ways um, that a lot of us don't even know. I know I've, I've talked on the phone with Evan a number of times about some of the bigger issues in our community, and so um, he's, he's very caring about uh, the things that, that are going on, even as, as he expands and becomes an even um, you know, bigger business leader over the course of time. So uh, congratulations to Evan for that. 
And now the uh, presentation of the Large and Small Business of the Year Awards. These awards are open to all businesses who were nominated in all categories except for community merit. The judges kept in mind during the entire judging process the nominees which demonstrated outstanding achievement and commitment to excellence and quality in their business operations. Baker Tilly, as patron sponsor of the Celebrate Success Business Awards, also sponsors the Business of the Year categories, and we're pleased that Darcy Spilchen, the CEO and finance partner with Baker Tilly, is here uh, with us tonight, and Darcy will come forward and announce the Business of the Year Award uh, recipients. So as patron sponsor, uh, Darcy will certainly uh, will, will give uh, the floor to Baker Tilly um, to, uh, to comment any way that they see fit, and uh, you can do... Uh, do we want them to do the large business first or the small business first? You're going to do the large business first, and then after you do that, uh, you can just stay at the podium, and, uh, and then you can announce the, uh, the small business of the year uh, award recipient as well. So the floor is yours. Thanks, Mike. Yes, I'm uh, Darcy Spilchen, uh, the CEO and finance partner at Baker Tilly. Uh, and uh, well, it's a COVID year, so I get to be here at uh, maximum capacity. Uh, uh, four people. <laughs> uh, these four people might be thinking, well, what did you do to Rick? Uh, well, Rick is doing well. However, uh, he is retiring in January, and I, I did take over his role. Uh, Baker Tilly, uh, we're definitely proud supporters in our communities. I do have a funny story. Uh, just last week, we gave some money to uh, the, the brick mill, and we had a photo op there with Larry Perrin and, uh, and Vern Brown, and, and uh, so this, this photo was outside, so uh, we did, did the photo, and you know, obviously wearing masks, and the, the, my glasses fogged up, so I stuffed them in my pocket, and, uh, and for whatever reason, Larry and Vern decided to keep their, their snowy glasses on. But anyways, I, uh, after the, the photo was done, I put my glasses on, and I looked to where I parked my vehicle, and there's like this old guy standing there, and he's like, he's like this. So I, I uh, approached my vehicle, and he's like, they should have torn this piece of blank down years ago. And I just started laughing at him. And then he's like, well, it looks like you gave him money yet, too. And I laughed even harder. But as I say, we're definitely uh, big supporters in the, in the community here. Um, I, I do have an idea for uh, businesses who need a replacement for their, their Christmas party. Um, you know, obviously we're not having a, a Christmas party at, at our office here, so what we did was uh, we asked our staff to pick any client from our client list and they could uh, get a $200 uh, gift card or store credit at anyone from our client list here. So I usually complain a lot about signing checks, but it really did feel good to uh, to sign those 40 or so checks uh, totaling $13,000. That was just last week, and uh, yeah, th those uh, checks should be in circulation here this week. So, uh, you know, before we get to the, the award, while you're actually uh, viewing this here, I just want to uh, comment that, you know, we've all had to make sacrifices here in, in COVID. Uh, um, you know, it, it was nice that uh, we did get to have a meal at the office there uh, prior to me joining here. Uh, thanks to Mr. Mikes and Manos, that was an excellent meal. Uh, really appreciate that. And yeah, I, I personally took one for the team here tonight. Uh, it's my mother-in-law's birthday here, so you know we have limitations as to how many people can can gather. So uh, I said, well, you know what, I've got supper at the office anyways. I'll just leave, and uh, that way my wife and brother-in-law could be together with uh, with uh, the, my uh, mother-in-law Lee there to uh, celebrate her birthday. So happy birthday, Lee! Uh, but uh, keep in mind, you know, these different times, they, they, they will pass at some point. 
And uh, in my mind, we're going to be much better business people coming out of this. Uh, we've learned to do things different and better in my mind. And, you know, there's no shortage of uh, opportunities here in Yorkton and Saskatchewan coming out of this. With that uh, said, thanks for listening to my, uh, my blurb. I'm ready to uh, announce the large. large business of the year. So, um, the recipient of the Large Business of the Year award was uh, selected from nominations received in the categories except community merit. Uh, the individual nominations were not solicited. To be eligible for the Large Business of the Year, the business must have operated in Yorkton for at least three years as of December 31st, 2019. What a great time that was, and have, graded, and have greater than 15 employees, uh, or full-time equivalents. This award will be presented to the business as, that has demonstrated excellence in the areas considered key to, to success. Uh, the business has stated its critical success factors and clearly demonstrated how its goals have been achieved. Uh, the business will be privately owned and operated in New York, and or in the case of a franchise, the franchisees must, be, must own and operate the business. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I, I had it. <laughs> the large business of the year is Yorkton Hyundai. Congratulations. As a community-driven business, Yorkton Hyundai strives to provide the best automotive experience in town. It prides itself on making your experience at the dealership a memorable one. The owners and staff at Yorkton Hyundai love their city and want to help it thrive and grow. They know that with the growth and success of Yorkton, their business will benefit. Established in Yorkton 10 years ago, Yorkton Hyundai employs 27 full-time employees. Uh, yes. Oh, no, no, I Look, because that's at the bottom. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, with the large business uh, of the year awarded, uh, it's time to do the small business of the year award. So this one was selected from nominations received in all categories except community merit. The individual nominations were not solicited once again to be eligible for the small business of the year. The business must have operated in New York then for at least three years as of December 31st, 2019 and have had a, a, a maximum of 15 employees or full-time equivalents. The recipient of this award has demonstrated excellent, excellent sorry, in the areas considered key to success. The business has stated its critical success factors and clearly demonstrated how its goals have been achieved. The business will be privately owned and operated in Yorkton, or in the case of a franchise, the franchisees must own and operate the business. So, uh, the small business of the year. Ah. <laughs> is a modern mattress. Providing the latest information, best services, and most cost-effective products related to sleep and sleep improvement have contributed to the success of Modern Mattress. With continual growth, Modern Mattress now has 9,000 square feet that includes an on-site showroom, an on-site warehouse, and off-site warehouse space. Investments in branding and staff have helped with the aggressive growth plan to achieve long-term sustainability and profit. Valuing their employees and a commitment to customer service also contribute to their success. Congratulations, uh, Mr. Schenner and Mr. Hunt. Okay. 
Thank you very much again to uh, Baker Tilly and congratulations to all recipients of the awards this evening. Uh, on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce and the Board of Directors, I want to thank all of our sponsors and the entire business community for their support of the Celebrate Success uh, Business Awards. It is a one night every two years that we're able to recognize and celebrate business excellence in the uh, community. And I just, on a personal note, um, I want to acknowledge Juanita and Carol. You seem so far away in such a big empty room. Um, but I want to... These two people and, and, and the people on the committee that, that Carol mentioned, in a lot of respects, even though there's nobody here tonight, it's harder to put this together than what it is when this facility is full of people and everybody's having a good time and, and, and eating supper and, and having drinks at the back and, and having a good time. And I hope, like nobody's business, that we're doing that uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, my term as president is coming to an end, but I'll be making an, a motion just as a simple board director that as soon as restrictions are lifted, um, we, we have a business party and I don't really care what you call it um, because I think we all deserve it. Um, but, um, uh, you know, great effort uh, by you guys uh, to put this together. Uh, the other thing I want to mention um, for me um, it's not usual that a person does two years uh, as, as president. I did do two, so my term is going to uh, come to an end here in the next few weeks, and, and you'll have a new president for 2021. Hopefully, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of an easier year uh, for that uh, president and, and also the people that will be on your board in 2021. And I, I think the other thing I want to mention to people, if you're watching here tonight, your directors work really, really hard. and especially in a year like this, when you have 13, 14, 15, whatever it is that we've got for directors sitting around a table, we are speaking on your behalf and we're advocating for you. And there, there is no time like the present as far as you needing to be advocated for. And so I would just encourage you to look at the Chamber website, see who your directors are, Talk to those directors. Obviously, you know that I'm one of them. Even though I'm not going to be president, I'm going to be a director for another year. It's important that we hear from you so that we advocate correctly and we advocate in a way that you want us to advocate. And by all means, we want you to succeed. We want you to not only succeed, we want you to thrive. We want, we want some of you to be like Evan Ortinsky was tonight and be business leaders of the year. And so I think for me, just closing, that's the, the one message that I want to get out to everybody is we want our business community to succeed. We want you to thrive. We want to advocate correctly for you. So by all means, even though you don't have time to be a director or you, you, know, you, you, you don't necessarily want to be uh, you know, front and center and, 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 and taking the bullets, if you will, that's what our job is. Um, but let us know what it is that you want us to do on your behalf because um, we, all, we all do it, all of the directors that serve, we all do it with a great deal of passion. And, uh, and it is not only for the people that are on that board as directors, they're, they're all, you know, invested and got skin in the game with business, but we're also speaking on your behalf. And like I say, we want to do it in a way that you want us to do it. And the best way for that to happen is to hear from you. So on that note, we uh, want to, again, congratulate everybody that received uh, awards tonight. We want to congratulate everybody that was a finalist. And uh, we want to thank you very much for, for watching. And... Uh, on behalf of uh, Juanita and, and Sherry and every, I see everybody in attendance, I could just name the five or six of you. But anyways, good night and uh, take care. Oh, my feet hurt.